Your local Ashley Home Store is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I want to tell you about a guy named Michael Hall. That's the man we're going to surprise today for Feel Good Friday. I'll read you the entry that we received from one of you out there watching. I would like to name Michael Hall for a Feel Good Friday honor. He's a nuclear engineer. He donates hours of his time and own money to work with the Idaho Falls High School science classes to put on science fairs and STEM competitions and get the students interested in science and engineering skills. When he started this, there was no science fairs in the school system. He got the teachers excited about this and they were eager to get their students involved. He organized the winning students at the city level to compete in the Utah-Idaho State competition at Lagoon with many top honors going to the high school students here in Eastern Idaho. I feel that he deserves some recognition for his tireless energy and eagerness to work with the young people in the science field. Well, we agree. So we've tracked him down here at his office in downtown Idaho Falls. Let's go in and surprise him. Hey Nate, how are you? This is Eric. Hi Eric. So we're actually here for our weekly Feel Good Friday segment to surprise you. Oh. From what we understand, you've over the years have been very involved with the STEM program at the high school. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, we started um, about 10 years ago working, um, trying to find ways to do hands-on science for um, elementary, junior high, and high school kids. And so we started putting on a science fair, um, but there wasn't seem to be one in Idaho Falls at the time. And so we started working with some of the teachers and got some kids together and we've been doing it ever since. It was so, the, like the first one, right? You kind of got the ball rolling. Well, there were, when I was a kid going to school here, we had science fairs, but there hadn't been anything, at least not seemed like organized citywide for quite a few years. So we started that and it, it grew into all three of the District 91 high schools and some participation from, or District 91 and some participation from District 93. And uh, it kind of grew from there and then, you know, as, as things have gone on, it's, uh, I think we've probably been in front of about 5,000 students. And and you even had competitions like down at Lagoon, didn't you? Yep, we went to, well, we used to take kids down to Lagoon. Um, we'd take about a busload of 50 kids and go down and compete at Physics Day at Lagoon down there with all of the Utah schools. So, wow. And you don't get paid for any of this. No, it's all volunteer. And you've probably spent some of your own money. A little bit, yeah. A lot of donations, um, some good, you know, some a lot of private sponsors and some corporate sponsors and it's interesting because now it seems like stem is is not all the rage but schools want it they're they're dying to yeah. get these programs yeah with the with the change in the in the curriculum the last you know the last 10 years or so now and the emphasis on technology and science and math um, and engineering and and we've seen a lot so we could say you started it all well brought it back <laughs> brought Maybe. it you know, yeah something well we just will... just did our just did our part i guess to try to get you know try to make education fun and try to Try to get people interested in science. If you can take a few kids out of school and do a field trip and get them get their hands dirty, I, to me that's it's a lot better than just sitting and sit in a classroom all day. So, Absolutely. and we got some teachers that thought that would be a great idea, and here we are. That's awesome. Five thousand students. So when you're not talking about engineering and math, I understand you like to go fishing and play your guitar. I do fish a little bit. Uh, I do. I wouldn't say I play, but I'll I pluck at a guitar. <laughs> Well, we, we, in conjunction with Ashley Furniture, wanted to get you a few gift cards to Cabela's. Oh, awesome. That you can go and buy fishing tackle and poles and whatever you oh, want. And great. spend some time outdoors. And well, thank you. Thanks for all you've done for the community to help kids. And yeah. uh, many, many more kids, I'm sure, will benefit because of, of your efforts. Okay. Yeah, you bet. No, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, might, Michael. Thank might you. even give out some of these to some kids. So <laughs> that'll be good. Of course. Typical. But yeah. maybe do something for you. I will. I will. A big thanks to Michael. And thank you for watching. Remember, we're always looking for people to support prize for Feel Good Friday. If you have anybody that you think should be honored, shoot me an email, neaton at eastidahonews.com. Have a good weekend. Your local Ashley Home Store is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday.